Okay, in this video, we are gonna find some higher order partial derivatives. Specifically, we're gonna find uh, partial xxx and partial xyx. I'm never really sure how you're supposed to say those, so that's how I say them. Um, all right, so here's the problem we're gonna deal with. We wanna find partial xxx and then partial xyx for f of xy is equal to x to the fourth y squared minus x cubed y. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna start with what it means to find partial x, x, x. So if I'm finding this, then what I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna find partial x, and that's a new function. And then for that function, I'm gonna find partial x, and that's a new function. And then for that function, I'm gonna find partial x. So I'm really just gonna take the derivative with respect to x three times. So it's kind of like a third derivative type situation. So let's, uh, let's see if we can do that. So it's nice because this kind of like polynomial type deal. So I just need a lot of power rule. So partial x. So the derivative of x to the fourth is four x cubed. And then y squared is just a constant because we're taking the derivative with respect to x. And then minus the derivative of x cubed is three x squared. And then y is just a constant. Okay, so that's actually partial x. So this is our new function. We're gonna take the derivative of this with respect to x. So partial x, x, which is kind of like the second derivative. Um, the derivative of four x cubed is 12 x squared. And then y squared is just a constant. And then minus the derivative of three x squared is six x and y is a constant. So we're done with that part. And now we just take the derivative of this thing with respect to x. So this will be our final answer. Derivative of 12x squared is 24x, and then times y squared, because it's constant, minus the derivative of 6x is 6, and then times y, and there you go. All right, so these are really not that bad. Um, now what I wanna do is find partial x, y, x. Okay, so partial x, y, x. So it's the same idea. I'm gonna start with partial x. So I'm really reading from left to right. It's not obvious um, because of kind of the symmetry of things that are happening here. Um, so if I'm reading from left to right. So first the partial x, the one that's right next to the original f, I'm gonna then take the derivative with respect to y of that thing, then the derivative with respect to x of that thing. And let's do it. So we already found partial x. So I'm just gonna copy that down. So this is where x is a variable, y is a constant. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the derivative of this new function with respect to y. So x is a constant and y is our variable. So partial x, y. So we're gonna have four x cubed, because that's just a constant, and then times the derivative of y squared is two y. Okay, and then minus three x squared is a constant, and then the derivative of y with respect to y is one. And I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. So I get eight x cubed y minus three x squared. And now I need to find the derivative of this thing with respect to x. So partial x, y, x. So with respect to x, so x is a variable again. So it's gonna be eight times the derivative of x cubed. So the derivative of x cubed is three x squared. So eight times three is 24 x squared and then y is a constant, minus the derivative of three x squared with respect to x is six x, and we get that. If you look at the two answers, you get some kind of symmetry there. Uh, I, th I think that's a coincidence, so I wouldn't look too deeply into it. Um, but one thing that I would look kind of deeply into is we found the derivative, when we we're doing this, we found the derivative with respect to x, then y, then x. You might ask yourself, what if you found the derivative with respect to x then x then y, what would happen there? So if we go and look at that, because we already found that, so I'm just copying this from above, I'm gonna find the derivative with this thing with respect to y. So x is a constant, so I get 12 x squared and then times the derivative of y squared, which is two y. So 12 times two is 24, there's an x squared and then there's a y. And then it's gonna be minus six x. 
and the derivative of y with respect to y is just one. So we get 24x squared y minus 6x. So if you look at that, we actually got that partial xxy and partial xyx were equal to each other. And if we went back and calculated it, we'd actually see that partial yxx, so two x's twice with respect to x, once with respect to y, that's actually gonna be the same thing too. And all of that is due to something called Clairaut's theorem. I assume it's Claro, could be Clairot, I don't know, Claro I think is what I've always said. Um, so if you look that up, it says that under specific conditions, which are almost always met in a Calc 3 class, uh, the mixed partial derivatives can actually be calculated in any convenient order. Um, and that's a fact that you're gonna use a lot. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.